I'm going to go through the level two award in HACCP. Uh, that's uh, HACCP for manufacturing, or KTM, and in some respects even retail. So it'll be a series of modules that I'm going to go through, all by PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the modules I'm going to cover, there will be 14 all together. The first one, I'll be looking at a course introduction and an understanding of food safety. Module 2 will cover hazards. Module 3 is all of our prerequisite programs. Module 4 are the legal requirements and HACCP principles. Module 5 will be looking at preparing for implementation of HACCP. Module 6 is all of our flow diagrams. Module 7, hazard analysis. Module 8, control measures. Module 9, critical control points. Module 10, critical limits, target levels and tolerances. Module 11, takes us on to monitoring. Module 12, corrective actions. Module 13, verification. Module 14, documentation. So the course outcomes, there are two lots of course outcomes. At the end of the course, delegates will be able to recognize and define common HACCP terms and say the principles of HACCP, and that's how you pronounce it, it's HACCP, although there's no A after the second C before the A. Recognize the need for a systematic approach for food safety management. Outline the stages involved in implementing HACCP. Identify common food hazards and controls. Explain the importance of identifying critical control points. Explain the process and monitoring. Describe HACCP verification procedures. On the second sheet, delegates will also be able to explain the process of monitoring. Describe the purpose of corrective action in HACCP. Outline the importance of verifying, reviewing and documenting HACCP systems in a catering environment. Describe the documentation of records needed to support a HACCP system. So let's have a look at some definitions first of all. Food safety management is the overarching principle. But let's have a look at one definition, safe food. This is food which is free of contaminants and will not cause harm, illness or injury. And that's the, the whole ethos of HACCP is to provide food which is safe. So food which is safe to eat by the consumer, it's not going to make them ill, there's not going to be anything in there which could cause damage or injury to the inside of their mouth. So from a customer point of view, we should be able to go out and expect safe food, demand safe food in fact, from the people that supply us with food that we buy. And in turn, we as food handlers must provide food that is safe. It's the responsibility of all food businesses to implement a food safety management system. And a food safety management system are the policies, procedures, practices, controls and documentation that ensure the food sold by a business is safe to eat and is free from contaminants. And we'll look at the major contaminants later on. There are three or four major contaminants which we'll look at. There's other types of food safety management systems. Uh, one is QA, quality assurance, then product testing. Assured Safe Cajun, which really died a death in the, in the late 80s. HACCP, which is what we'll be looking at in this uh, course of modules. Safe Food Better Business, uh, which uh, along with Safe Cajun and Cook Safe, uh, individual HACCP systems develop for smaller businesses. Uh, NI is Northern Ireland, Cook Safe Scotland, in England and Wales is called Safe Food Better Business. Uh, these, at the very least, the uh, British government decided to be flexible with small businesses and said that, right, instead of having a full-blown HACCP system, you can use this smaller, uh, although uh, more robust, uh, not as robust, well, it is as, as robust as the, uh, the main HACCP system, but there's less paperwork involved because it depends really on the size and complexity of the business. And these systems can be downloaded free of charge from the Food Standards Agency's website. So HACCP, where did it all come from? 
HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points, which is usually more than one point. Some people say it's Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point, that's semantics. It's a food safety management system which identifies, evaluates and controls hazards which are significant for food safety. It was commissioned in NASA in 1959 to produce safe food for US astronauts. Because uh, you can imagine if astronauts went into space and had food poisoning, or the symptoms of which can be sickness and diarrhea, they'd fill up their spacesuit with their own bodily fluids and probably drown. So they didn't want that to happen. Uh, it was a system that was developed from the jet engine fighters uh, during the late 40s and early 50s. They developed a system from that and sort of changed it and, um, to make it more flexible for use in the food industry. It was first published in 1973 by the Pillsbury Dole Corporation. Uh, it was developed and promoted internationally by the World Health Organization by the FAO, which is the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, the NACMCF, which stands for the National Advisory Committee on Microbi Microbiological Criteria for Foods, and the Food Standards Agency. And the Codex Alimentarius Commission said is the most effective system of food safety assurance. Now, the Codex Alimentarius Commission, CAC, that uh, was put together by the WHO and the FAO and it consists of government officials from every country throughout the world. Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment to visit our website by clicking on the link below. We'll see you there.